promises. It is only beginning. But Moses, d didn't you see what happened? The priests did the same thing. Pharaoh still has the power over our lives. Yes, Aaron, it's true. Pharaoh has the power. He can take away your food, your home, your freedom. He can take away your sons and daughters. With one word, Pharaoh can take away your very lives. But there is one thing he cannot take away from you. Your faith. Believe, for we will see God's wonders. No, Ramesses, it is only beginning. But Moses, d didn't you see what happened? The priests did the same thing. Pharaoh still has the power over our lives. Yes, Aaron, it's true. Pharaoh has the power. He can take away your food, your home, your freedom. He can take away your sons and daughters. With one word, Pharaoh can take away your very lives. But there is one thing he cannot take away from you. Your faith. Believe, for we will see God's wonders. Shalom, all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekai Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace and salutation, brother. Hopefully, like pushing this word in truth and sincerity. All right, this video here is called Believe, for we shall see God's wonders. Okay, so this is just kind of going into more of a, a faith booster, as you saw from the opening clip. Uh, the the character played uh, the character Aaron on this uh, movie Prince of Egypt uh, he said that Pharaoh still has the power even after those miracles in which Moses had performed and then Moses uh, said back to him yes he does basically you know he, he can take away your sons your daughters you know your lives and even today you can take away your livelihood your jobs you know your children you know whatever it takes for you to survive but he can't take away your faith and then he ended by saying believe for we shall see god's wonders so that's what i, I want to hint on today is we we actually do need to believe for yahweh will show his wonders he's gonna show his power okay the people of this kingdom here in Esau's kingdom they have no idea they do not believe and hey not for them too but everything that's happening now is to show the power of the God of Israel all right which is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai okay <clears throat> so why do they have the power All right. All right, this is Job chapter 9 verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who is the wicked? He saw Edom. The earth has been given to them. Okay, the rulership of the earth, the rulership of everything, the earth and the fullness thereof, the power structure you know, the animals, the plants, the rulers, everything has been given over to them. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he? Who are the true judges of the earth? The Israelites. Okay? Us. Alright? Because that's why when Yahushai came, it said, Ye which have followed me in the regeneration, so I sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay? 
because we are the true judges in the earth. Be why? Because we will judge righteously, which is why we're going through what we're going through now. Okay, we're we're learning wickedness so that we can know how to judge righteously. All right. So, so we we see that the earth or the rulership of the earth and the things that are in thereof have been given over to the wicked. So, and you got to think about it. The wicked is going to rule it in wickedness. Because they know no else to rule. They can't learn righteousness. So let's get this here. This is Genesis chapter 27, verse 37. Okay. We just saw that the earth was given to the hand of the wicked. Okay. But let's see what he did. This is Genesis 27, 37. And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy Lord. Who was he talking about? He was talking about Jacob. And all his brethren have I given to him for servants. And with corn and wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do now unto thee, my son? And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even so, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. All right. So when the earth was given into the hand of the wicked, they were given the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. They were giving the rulership, the power structure. They were given literally the earth and the things that are therein. Okay. And then it says, verse 40, and by thy sword shalt thou live. Okay. So that was the main difference because Jacob's blessing was let people serve thee. Okay. It was to have servants. Okay. To have that rulership, that dominion, that power. But he got the blessing of by the sword thou shalt live and shall serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Okay. And but it says, and by thy sword thou shalt live. So because Esau was not giving the blessing to uh, as, as the, uh, Jacob was given, let people serve thee. Okay. Esau forces people to serve him. Through the power of his sword or through the power of his military might. This this is why he goes through the earth putting sanctions and tariffs on people on other nations, you know, uh, lying and deceiving them and then bullying them into serving him. OK, because he has the power structure. He was given the blessing. He has that military might. He has that strength. Why? Because the earth and the things that are therein have been given unto him the power of it everything has been given unto him for a time and a for a season all right so let's see how <laughs> this worked out for us this is part of our curse deuteronomy 28 and 48 therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which the lord shall send against thee Okay, Esau Edom, Esau Edom was one of our, is our enemy. Okay, and he's against thee. And it says against us in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. When we when we want food, we go to Esau Edom. We, we go through his system. We want something to drink, water, alcohol, whatever, wine, strong drink, whatever it is. Uh, we go to Esau Edom through that system. Uh we it was especially back during uh in slavery, you know, we were serving them in nakedness, you know, they stripped us, sold us, all those different things. Then it says, and in want of all things. We literally have to go to them for everything. Okay? Because the power was given unto him. Okay? If we want a house, we gotta go to them. If we want a car, we gotta go to them. You know, we gotta get loans from the bank. Loans from the bank. Okay? Uh want a place to stay whatever you know we want food we got we literally have to go to them for everything and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee okay now when we first came over here in the cargo slave ships transatlantic slave trade and, and before 
all right? They put yokes of iron upon our people's necks, okay? And then it says, until he have destroyed thee, okay? Now, our people are truly destroyed. That's why the yokes of iron came off of us, because now our people fight to be a perpetual slave. Our people fight to be into captivity under Esau Edom. They want a piece of of the kingdom. They want a piece of the pie. They don't want the whole pie. They want to rule along with, or as they say, can we all just get along? Our people, Israelites, want to want to be in the kingdom in a, in a peace and harmony with your enemy. It's not going to work. You can't be in peace with the wicked. The wicked, who is made to be wicked. Alright? So now, how did he force um, through the force of the sword, or through the force of his might and his power, is one of is how he plans on uh doing this thing here. Is uh Revelation chapter thirteen verse sixteen, and it says, "And he calls of all, not some, but all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a karagma." I'm going to use that word, you know, since we can't say the M.O., you know, the thing, uh, in their right hand or in their foreheads, all right, to receive their karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the karagma or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom that him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and Six, okay. How is he doing that? He's gonna force you because he has dominion of the earth, because the earth was given to him, because he has the power, because he has the blessing. Okay, he can cause or to make ready or to put everyone or to try to force you to get it. Okay. Says small, great, rich, poor, free, and bond. Even if they don't use military might, you know, they always can just lock you out of society. Meaning, hey, if you don't get it, you're not going to be able to eat. You don't get it, you're not going to be able to drink. You don't get it, you're not going to have a place to stay. You don't get it, you can't take part or be a part of anything in society. You're going to be an outcast. All right. But let's, let's go to this one here. Since we're in modern day Egypt, this is why I put that opening clip there. Uh, we, we are literally in modern day Egypt or spiritual Egypt. Uh, let's see. This is Romans chapter 9. Yep, let's get this here. Romans 9 and 15. It says, for he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Why? Because Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. He had mercy upon Jacob, but he did not have mercy on Esau. Okay. Verse 16. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Most High that showeth mercy. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, when we just seen the open clip, Pharaoh has the power to take away your lives, your livelihood, your jobs, you know, your family, everything. He can take away your everything, even your life. But check this out. For the scripture says unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up. Why are they able to do that? Because the earth was given to the hand of the wicked. Job 9, 24. They have been raised up. That I might show my power in thee and that my name might be declared throughout the earth. Okay, when when we talk about or you always hear about uh, the things, the plagues that took place in ancient Egypt, you know, the Pharaoh Ramesses and, Mo and dealing with Moses, you always hear, you know, uh, the pardon of the Red Sea, all the plagues that took place. And we always say, the Lord did these things. The Lord did these things. How much of Shai did these things? You know, he because his name was declared throughout the earth. And when you actually go on and read further in the chapter and all through Joshua, it says the other um, surrounding areas, they were they were afraid because of the rumors, because of what they heard that that Yahweh Shemal Shai did for Israel in the land of Egypt. 
So what happened to Pharaoh Ramesses and him and, and Yahweh Shemashai working with Moses put fear in the other nations. All right. And therefore it put power and, and remembrance of his name in the earth. You see, right now, the people of the earth, they, you know, they dwell carelessly here in Babylon, the great or spiritual Egypt, you know, spiritual Sodom and Egypt. They don't care, you know, but the time is coming where Yahweh Shemashai's name will be refreshed. And everyone will know his name and fear that name throughout the entire planet Earth. All right. So let's get this here. This is Job chapter five, verse 12. And I just showed you how uh, the earth was given to the wicked in the hand of the wicked. OK, he's uh, he, he's trying to uh, force that uh, karagma. OK. Through the power of his might, through the power of his sword, through his blessing. Okay. But check this out. This is why um, he said, believe for we shall see the most High's wonders. Okay. We're going to see uh, new things in the earth, new plagues in the earth. Okay. We're seeing unprecedented natural disasters. You know, uh, swarms of locusts, hurricane, the, the, the most hurricanes ever, you know, ever on recorded seasons. You know, volcanic eruptions, supply chain breaks that breakdowns, economic breakdowns, you know, uh shoot pestilences. You have the uh you know the 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 C the C nineteen that's going on, all this stuff. And along with the juice. You know, they're trying to force everybody to get the juice, you know. All these things, you know, the, <laughs> the Lord is strategic. You know, he doing he, he doing them surgical strikes. He is literally breaking every single thing down in so very delicately and intricately. All right. But this is Job chapter five, verse 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. OK, they have an idea and they have plans on what they want to do. And they and they, they believe wholeheartedly in their plans the same way we need to believe wholeheartedly in our power which is Yahweh but he's going to disappoint them all right they're not too going to fully be successful in their plan okay he's going to allow them to get it started but he's but he's not going to let them go through with it and we believe that because this was going to happen Job chapter 20 verse 22 in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. And when you look up the word straits, S-T-R-A-I-T-S, that means the double, double straits are positions of difficulty. All right. He, he having so much pushback, kickback. Thing, honestly, things are not working out the way that he wants them to work out. OK, they're going to be rumors. I mean, wars, rumors of wars, uproars of the people, riots, you know, fight, you know, just all kind of different things going on all at the same time. OK, he's going to be in positions of difficulty. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him when he is about to fill his belly. All right. When he about to eat good, <laughs> he about to down it. He got his you, you think about them old cartoons. All right. Sitting at the table, you got your plate of food, you got your fork in this hand, you got your spoon, you, you got your fork in your left hand, your spoon in your right hand, <laughs> then you got your napkin tucked in your shirt, <laughs> you about to devour. He is literally, matter of fact, he is eating right now. He is currently eating right now. We are in the time of the of the Karakma, the MOTB. All right. Uh when he is about to fill his belly, so he's eating. Eating it down, chomping it up, swallowing good, breaking the food down. You know, he 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 about to get full. Uh, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. This is why I continue to say he thinks that he is going to uh, perform his enterprise. He thinks he's going to be successful with his uh, his NWO, his MOPTB, his Karagma, okay, his Juicy Juice. All right, his 100% juice. He thinks he's gonna be successful with it, but he's not. Yeah, how about the Most High gonna rain down on him while he's eating? Verse 24: He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. These, these missiles coming down, okay? These missiles gonna put an end, you know, to all of that shit. 
All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. Uh, a fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. All right. Bad times. Anyone that's left in his house, going to be bad times for you. Matter of fact, those that are left are going to be the first ones to be taken into slavery, into captivity under Jacob, under Israel. All right. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him. All right. The increase of his house shall depart and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. So everything that he has, he's going to in one day, one hour, the, the, the time span that Yahweh Shemal has set up, he's going to lose it all. It's going to flow away. You ever set something in a river? And <laughs> and then it be, you know the river flows, and then uh, you you drop something in there, and then you literally you can't get it because of how rate how racing the river is, how it's flowing. Once that ship, you know that's that saying. Once that ship is sailed, that's it. It's going to literally flow away. And once that time comes, once he is taken down, he will never again rise back up. Verse 29. This is the portion of a wicked man from the Most High and the heritage appointed unto him by the Most High. All right. So believe for we will see the Most High's wonders. Believe for we will see the wonders of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Shalom.